Tyler Lab shining light to you. I can tell your morning is going as usual. I just woke up, but that's okay. I don't know when I fell asleep. It was not early though, I can tell you that much. Um, we'll see what happens today, because as much as I would like to not do anything today, um, yesterday I didn't have a ton of energy either, so I half finished the episodes for the week, week. And I need to finish them today. Start using ground coffee instead of the cups? Hell yeah. Ground coffee is really good. Well, if you find the one that you like. How's my camera? Not proper. There we go. Yeah, ground coffee. Uh, when you find just the right one, it's really hard to have any other kind of coffee. Find ground coffee for the type that you like the cups from before. It's easy to get. Hell yeah. I haven't looked for ground coffee in a while um i just haven't had i just don't have a super easy way to brew my coffee uh so i kind of stopped Hunt for beans whenever I'm there. Definitely. My nose is a little stuffy today. Don't worry, I'm not sick. I'm just extremely tired. <laughs> uh, today's gonna be a rough day. I can feel it in my bones. Uh... I really hope I have good notes for everything because I don't remember what I want to do with any of this. Dean, hello. Shiny day to you. I hope you're doing well. I'm not. I'll be honest. <laughs> but we're here. We have... As the saying goes, work to do. So we're doing it. My quotes for this one are, you know what a majority is, right? Me, when I open my files, turn the light off, it will so solve everything. Hey, Joe. A 
exclamation point people. Touch a person's face to hear their statements. Fans the written F A N apostrophe S apostrophe D. I'm such a little twink. And what a weird ass high school girl. Those are my quotes for this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Baggage that Amazon kept telling you that was being delayed for him last week. It's supposedly out for delivery again. All right. Let's see if that's correct this time. Where's my drug lab? I need to store these somewhere. And I need to make sure that this is plugged into the light. Is the other light plugged? Yes. I'm missing a light today because I just turned them on as I was trying to set up things. Uh, that's the wrong color. God, I hate this ring light. I really need to get another one of my uh, little square lights. All the ring lights, well, the ring lights I have are really cheap, so they're going to be quite uh, uncomfortable to use. I should probably see if there's anything at the beginning. We're still on fan on face cam. That's okay. <laughs> you don't need to see the work that I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special. It's, it's just like every other street. I'm drawing thumbnails. What else do you need to? What else do you need to see? It's really not that complicated. You can get the gist of it out of my pen movements. Don't know how I'm going to highlight anything about this game. Maybe it's a bad idea to work with my brain state right now. But we'll get something done and then I can fix it later today if I'm... I don't feel like I've done a good enough job. I don't want to not do it because otherwise I'm going to put it off until the last minute and I don't want to do that.
plus graphics. Graphics in this game are really simple. Which makes them quite unique, honestly. Come on, Jacob, give me something to work with. Okay, I'll finish product spec sheet for products. And physical standards are aroma, subtle, taste, smooth, texture, crisp, and firm. Size and shape approximately 5 inches and oblong. Guess what product? 5 inches. So like a cucumber or something? Well, the description uh, really does what it needs to do. That's when she becomes a taco. I don't know if I want to highlight the death as the thumbnail. Sounds like a bad idea. Lot of talking in this one. Not a lot of dying. Love sake, hello, shiny day to you. I hope you're doing all right. I think there was a jump scare there and I missed it. <laughs> I just kept scrolling past. I don't know, something with guns in this part. Oh, that was, um, 
the cat. Dag and Julie, you can't see my mouse. That's okay. Nothing really jumps out at me from this game, which is... It's one of those games when it's really cool all together. But you have to, like, play through it to really understand what's cool about it. So a screenshot from the game is not going to be super enticing. Unless people already know about the game. Which is... A bad assumption to make when you're trying to sell something. You can't sell a product expecting that you're um potential customer knows everything about your product. In fact, there's a lot of industries that rely on the customer not knowing about what the product is and pretending to sell something that better than what you're actually giving them. I sort of do that with YouTube thumbnails. I pretend our product is better than it is. Kind of. All right, uh, these don't need to be here. This is only here because I accidentally did a save on oh, Burpee. All right. I could go with complete confusion as my thumbnail design. That's not how you do that. I could use this and just um, Hi there, Marlo. Good morning, shiny day to you. Go with this and just add the text. Fans, no fans. D And no one will know what I'm talking about until they watch the episode. I genuinely forgot they play your turn to die and you were at that stream. Sometimes uh, memories fade. Can I... Let me... 
duplicate this so I can rasterize it and use uh, in paint. Let's see if this helps. Uh, maybe I should do. That doesn't really work. Oh, I can do current layer below. I always forget. The same button got duplicated in the process. Um, it kind of works. I mean, who cares if it's exact? That's not in paint. This might be one of those thumbnails where Uh, I'm really hoping for the audience. I'm really banking on people's curiosity. I don't know how good of an idea that is. But uh, surely, <laughs> surely it'll work out. This is an option. It's technically technically complete. <laughs> that's a full that that's a full thumbnail. Um your turn to die. My other option would be the point where they stretch their hands towards the camera. They start hearing about the statements and whatnot. Can use that. Can't find it. Ooh, I got dizzy. That's always fun. A little hair thing here. That's cute.
Yeah, I just saw. It might be my fault. Uh, I upped the bitrate of my stream a little bit because I saw it being uh, quite crunchy sometimes. Can I lower this on the fly? I could. We'll see if when she tries again, that works. Thank you, Lap, for relaying the message. Where's the part where they do the hand thingy? Come on, do the thing. I have no idea. I don't remember when that is on the stream. It had something to do. with hearing people's statements all the way back here now this is when they first met all of the other characters so it would have been it it wouldn't wouldn't have been it right yeah it's like further down here When they have to do like the um, investigation and whatnot, shouldn't I should start like time stamping my notes? That'll make it a lot easier to um, to get back on and do things quicker. Because then I could tell when I need to look for things. I was paying attention. My brain went off to some other place. I need to be looking at the webcam. It is definitely on this screen, though. No, maybe. Where is it? Hmm. 
Was it on the screen? Oh yeah, because of the extract thing, but they already been told about the extract thing. Yeah, they're already extracting. And the tutorial for this. And he said she tried other streams and very much on the internet. Yeah. Bummer. I guess I can put my pin rate back up. To a healthy 4,500. I'm always worried about putting my pit rate too high because my my internet can for sure handle it. I have like 800 megabytes upload. So it's not a problem for me, but me increasing the pit rate means that you guys need to download a higher pit rate stream, which I know not everyone has the internet for. Um, so I'm trying to account for that. Let me watch this at a higher speed. Give she sent. Oh, it's such a sad gift. I wasn't paying attention to the video. It's always a bummer when someone... It's a regular viewer can't watch the stream because of connection problems. It's such a bummer to have connection problems regardless of what you're doing. It makes everything so much harder to deal with. Have Gone into a great deal of effort to try and mitigate all my connection issues. And uh, I still have problems sometimes. The one thing I need, still need to do is to buy a, a small UPS for the dancers. Uh, access point. So that way when the power goes out, the internet can still function. Back in the day, 
the copper lines also carry the low power signal or a low power um, power <laughs> signal. <laughs> so um, if power for the house died, you could still make calls using the phones or the house's landline. Uh, but a fiber connections are well, and even copper lines for ADSL wouldn't have enough power for a router. Uh, but especially now, fiber connections are not meant to carry power, so that's not an option anymore. And that has been a problem. The last landline that we had uh, wasn't really a landline. It was a an IP phone or an IP voice connection. So it, it routed through the internet. It works just like a regular phone. And you can actually set those up yourself. If you have any computer laying around, you can set up an IPv um connection so that you can make calls i don't exactly know how it's set up and i think you have to go through some service but that's definitely something you can do if you want a house phone um and when the power would go out we weren't able to use the phone because the router wasn't working which was Kind of a bummer because it would be nice to have a phone when um, when something goes wrong. If you need to tell someone, you know, for safety stuff. I might look into that at some point. Try to figure it out because it as. Uh, clunky as land li lane lines were. Um, they weren't useful. So, I would like to have. Uh, one again whenever I'm living you kept the corded phone in your dorm just for that and all your friends thought it was the weirdest thing ever yeah like if something goes wrong like In anything, there are multiple points of failure. What folder I'm trying to open? This one. Um, so, if you can do things so that if something fails, you can still do things, then that would be ideal. It's called redundancy. And usually redundancy is, or something being redundant, is used in a um, in a negative connotation. Like if you're told that your job is redundant, you're like, "Well, I'm getting paid for it anyways." But redundancy just means that there's one extra thing doing the same thing as, or doing the same job or something else and the good thing about redundancy if, is that if one of them dies you have two of them so you can easily continue working like nothing happened um And...
and I enjoy making most of my things have some sort of redundancy built into them so that I don't lose things. I need to add one more point of redundancy to my backup setup because I have a shit ton of data on my computer. I have like, what is it, like 10 terabytes? <laughs> it's five, well, it's six, four, that's 10. Yeah, uh, that's 10 just in my cold storage. I call cold storage things that I'm not actively using. So, pass VODs, recordings or gameplay, things like that. And just that is 10 terabytes. And on top of that, I have a 1 terabyte drive for my games. And a 256 gigabyte drive that I use for active files, which I actually do need to make a 501 because 250 is not enough. So, ideally, I would have an extra 10 terabytes of storage for backup locally. And then on top of that, I will have my Backplay subscription that backs up everything else. I'm actually also using Backplay for the time I want to move. Because Backplay... What the fuck am I doing? Because Backplay, when you want to... Uh, get your data back, they will send you a hard drive. So instead of taking all of my hard drives with me on the plane where they could die, I can just get up back place, be like, hey, I need my data back. Can you send me a drive to this address? And then I could just send a drive to a uh, lab's address and not have to worry about carrying my drives. Because all of my important data is backed up there. And backing up all of my data to Backblaze took the better part of three days. Partially because their servers are not fast enough for my upload <laughs> speeds. Uh, but now everything is everything's fine because I'm a data hoarder it's called archiving things for the sake of preservation discord has made um preserving things much harder And I don't want to end up like the Legend of Zelda speedrun community. Where every file is behind the Discord. And it's not easily accessible on the clear net. I mean, that my order is fine. I'm a lot of things that start with H. Hoarder is, I don't think it's one of them. I need to move on from this thumbnail. Today might be a quick one. Actually, I don't want, I don't want this to be like much shorter than two hours. So we'll see how this goes. I still need to finish my emotes. I've had like no brain to do anything. So my emotes have kind of been on hold. The battle event for my overlay has kind of been on hold. The one thing I was doing on Blender has been on hold. I haven't been able to get back into any of those things. Um... 
I forgot. I have it on A time speed. Oh. Beautiful. Someone's mentioned quite a few times that you need to drop pick up his hoe up in Valheim. You always make a comment about talking about me like that. Jacob's noodliness <laughs> will not come across on the thumbnail very well, but I do want to highlight it. <laughs> I really just want to make the thumbnail that says let her cook. Because that's what we all want for Julia. We want Julia to cook the weird meals. I could also... Um, In, uh, highlight the moment where Jacob calls her an idiot sandwich. <laughs> Affectionate. That was really funny. Um, let's block this out. I don't know if I could grab a still of him standing pretty center with his arm moving, but blurry. I could try. I honestly kind of wanted that. But I don't know... I don't think there's enough of him in the frames that he's centered to really highlight what's going on. <laughs> I can get that where he's like the only blurry thing in the picture. That's also pretty cool. That's a little better, but you can't really see his arms. And then he gave up. You can make this text. A lot bigger. Uh, the one problem I'm going to run into is Um, sometimes I blurry the background in order to make the foreground elements stand out more, but if part of the joke is that these arms are blurry, then I can't also blur the background, because that would be... I'll miss out the point of the...
Az a thumbnail. I think I like this one better. Uh, let's grab them. Thankfully, they are nice and sharp. Well, Jacob is blurry, but they're still... A distinction of color, which helps with this tool. I say as it doesn't work the way I want it to. Uh, let's just add it as a layer. What's my navigator? It crashed. <laughs> Amazing. I love it when it crashes. Can you... Okay. <laughs> I'm allergic to programs crashing. Ow, my lung. I'm okay. I'll be fine. It isn't actually my lung that hurts, it's just my ribs. Sleeping on my side is really doing bad things for my body, but it's the only position where I can sleep comfortably. Well, comfortably, quote unquote. Um, and my uh, mattress is not good anymore, so. I crush my ribs when I sleep. Which means that lately my sternum has started popping. Which is not a, a joint that you want making a sound because it's not a joint <laughs> it's not supposed to move at least not conservatively um so yeah Rip situation, not the greatest, but I'm used to not being okay. One day I'll be relatively okay, but it doesn't really affect me. Because I don't have self-preservation instincts. So I don't really feel bad that I don't feel good. It just makes it harder to do things. I think that's the one reason why I'm not into like some deep depression is the fact that I don't care <laughs> about myself. So if bad things are happening to me, I'm like, yeah, that's whatever.
You will do all of the caring for me? Thank you. I need someone like that in my life. I'm honest. Because I cannot, I simply cannot care about what's happening to me. My brain just doesn't do it. So if someone can like remind me or whatever, it's quite helpful. We made some progress so far in the past three years. I eat more often. I have sort of a schedule for eating. Because I know you and Nadine would yell at me if I don't eat. So I have made myself eat more. All bad things happening to my ribs when I'm sleeping is very not good. I know it's not good, but there's not much I can do about it besides getting a whole new bed. A whole new bed. Which I don't... I... It's so annoying to buy a bed. And... I'm not gonna be here for that long either, so it's kind of a waste. I'm not moving with a fucking bed. I'm not... I'm not putting a whole bed in the airplane. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna walk to the airport with a bed and put it on the check... On, on my checked luggage. See what the airport has to say about that. I saw some... I saw... When I was... When I was traveling to the U.S., I saw someone checking in a fucking refrigerator. I don't know where they were taking it. But they were checking in a fucking refrigerator. And they were being told <laughs> that they would have to pay uh, um, an oversized fee. I'm like, if that's all the resistance that they're getting from shipping a refrigerator... <laughs> while flying then you know i'd pay that fee maybe i will buy a bed here and ship it alongside the rest of my luggage you want to spend time and money on replacing it if you're going to move before the next rent renewal yeah it's a real pain to try and figure out things um, when uh, I should have made the selection bigger actually when you know that you're not going to be in that place for a lot longer Let's make a 20 pixel feather. Like, there's a lot of things either in my room or in the house in general that'd be like, yeah, I want to replace that or I want to change that, but I'm not going to be feet. I'm not going to be here for a, a whole lot longer. Like maybe another year, two years, uh, which sound like a lot of time, but it's not really. And it's not just that I would be wasting my money by fixing things in a place that I'm not going to stay for long. It's. I would be fixing things in a place that I wouldn't be staying for long, and then other people would have to deal with it. Which is not a good move in my... in my humble opinion.
So all of the changes I'm doing to the house are like, yeah, this is something that will make living in this house, whoever you are, much more comfortable. But otherwise, I don't want to make changes that would uh, benefit me and completely ignore whatever someone else might want to do with this house. If I want to make it lighter, I have to push it over here. Now to choose a layer style that I would agree with. The difference is kind of funky. Change the hue. Honestly, changing the hue feels kind of right. <coughs> oh. Um. Well, uh, it's not this one I want. I want... Color overlay, so I just make it darker. That's that's a thumbnail. <laughs> uh, let's add a um, well, first of all, let's save this on a different layer or a different file, I should say. Called Jeff. My thing is not that I want it. Jeff Life. And we'll do our classic shirt reconstruction. Reconstruction, sorry. I know how to speak. I went to university for it. I'm a professional speaker. I have all the frequencies of sound in my little diaphragm. I could squack too. If I really want it, but I usually don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. They say as if they ever do. I usually know what I'm talking about. I have every sound at my disposal. Every sound that my body allows me to produce. I do wonder what are the limits to the sounds that the human body can produce, because sound is just wiggly air. We all know this. So I wonder how... How wiggly can you make the air just with your body? Um... To 
make sounds that humans would typically not be able to produce. Or wouldn't naturally be able to produce. Just by the way we exist. Because beatboxers love to make noises that the human body is not designed to do. But certainly can make those noises. So what's the ceiling? I'm putting a call out for all beatboxers to figure out the ceiling of what noises you can make with your voice holes. Don't question me on the naming convention. Kind of doing the human body equivalent of Tom Morell's approach to guitar. I've always known Tom Morell and I have a lot in common. Not at all. We could not be more different. Well, we have some similarities, but I would I wouldn't compare myself to him in most scenarios. It's like comparing myself to Tony Hawk. Tom Morello is the Tony Hawk of guitars. I'm saying it. I imagine if your name starts with T. You're pretty good at what you're doing. She could find a brush that I like. Seb Dave Grohl is a Tony Hawk of music memes with a whole, you know, you kind of look like this one guy. Him being drummer for a good portion of his music career uh, meant that he wasn't really that known. Drummers often don't get a ton of recognition. Can I use an acrylic? I promise that cracks are too harsh. If you're not the singer lead guitars, you don't get noticed. Yeah. Which is a bummer. Because there's a lot of amazing drummers out there. Imagine Neil Pearl not being, not being known. I always loved how uh, rushes the dynamic because the bassist and the drummers are so good that the lead guitarist sounds like a regular guitar player in comparison. And the lead guitar player is also like a really good musician. It's always been super funny to me.
a really solid guitarist with a drummer like Neil Peart and Danny fucking Lee. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the only... There's not that many bass players that have gotten to the level that Geddy Lee has. I think the only other bass players that I would put into a similar category are um, Les Claypool, I think his name is, and the guy from Primus. I always get his name like backwards. And uh, Victor Wooden. There's probably other great bases out there, but those are the three that I'm like, yeah, you can't really get any better than this. Kaylee, who has the same play bass and keyboards all at the same time. Number two, was just them for three hours. On their break, they will leave Neil to do a solo. When he was done, Alex and Getty would come out into a small acoustic set. And they would finish out the show together. It's wild. Yeah. Rush really liked to play. <laughs> it was one of those bands um, that they would go on forever if allowed. They enjoyed the music a ton. I'm sure Kenny and um, Alex still do. We're always gimmicks. Got fucking Jerry Stiller to do a video for one of their tours. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Probably not. When do I ever do anything right? I do have a pain mixer. Maybe I should try that. I remember when they finally were getting introduced into the Hall of Fame and a bunch of fans were saying that Rush should boycott the ceremony for being snubbed so many years after they were eligible for, for induction. Gary responded to that in an interview with, We can't do that, we're nice Canadian boys. <laughs> they are really nice Canadian boys.
Now, this is a shirt. Here's that camera from Sick Puppies. Just a piece of a basis and sing really well. Uh, I forget the name of the bassist that... Perfect Circle had, I believe. Was it a Perfect Circle or was it Tool? I can never tell them apart. <laughs> Fucking main are being both of them. But either of them had really cool bases as well. You got the pacifier sounds so different from a perfect circle and tool. Yeah, that one that one's easy to tell apart. It's a it's a quite a different project. Um It's really interesting when a group of musicians get together for a project and it's like the best music you've ever heard and then they never do anything else again because it was just like a, a for funsy thing I wonder if they're still doing the G5 or G6. I don't remember how <clears throat> the naming convention worked for it, but was this a uh, joint concert of some of the most famous guitarists? We usually have Steve Vai, Neil Mammistein, um, the bald guy. Petrucci. I swear I remember names. And a bunch of others. Petrucci Ball now, I'm thinking of the, the wrong person. There's multiple bald guys in the in the guitar world, especially when they get get older. Bald guy Michael Stipe, maybe it's a guitar player. If so, then may then potentially could have been there. I have a. The, um, the DVD release of one of those concerts from like 2004, it's really wild. It's the only bald music boy you know, you have very little person knowledge. I also have very little person knowledge. I'm surprised I'm remembering names <laughs> at all today. I really enjoy music and all the weird little music things that happen. But I cannot remember names to save my life. I'm really glad that 
on the internet, every time someone talks to me, their username shows up, like, right next to it. <laughs> so I don't have to, like, remember their name. I can just be it. Hold the insane was a guitarist, so you take back your submission of Mr. Type. Okay. I mean, he could have attended anyways. Didn't necessarily have to play the guitar. He could have just had a good time. Why is this fucking AI generating the shirt I just drew? What is this, Cass? What, what is this? You know, maybe AI does um, know how to draw. <laughs> Uh, they should train it on my drawings. Amarillo, Brad Wilk from Rage Against the Machine, Maynard, obviously. Really cool to say no more. Got together. Do a cover calling Dr. Love. Ooh. You're waiting for me to notice the crap I did to that caller. Julia would absolutely destroy me if she saw what I did to her caller. I just don't know how to draw collars, dude. This is like my biggest nemesis. I guess this has to sh I need to do this with a different thing. Um, I think there is acrylic. It's like this way and then goes down like this. It's at least better than the one I had before. Remember there was one... Because you remember Tom telling you a few times on a serious show. And not being able to keep his shit together while telling it. That's still wrong. It needs to go out more. God, I suck. Well, at least that looks like a collar. <laughs> And not Johnny cries with some wild shit sometimes with space, but you're biased because he's from Avenged. You will be biased. My chair is lower than it should be. And now it's lower. <laughs> I mean, I really like, um, the Waltz of Home, uh, bass playing from, uh, well, he's done at Muse, but I won't call him, I won't compare him to freaking Victor Wooten. Yeah, that looks like a proper color now. Good. I love repainting their clothes. It's such a... interesting challenge. It's 
Oh, it's fantasy and no one can tell. It just looks kind of dirty. Can you... What? Where's my eyedropper? <laughs> um... I should go back to just using acrylics and flat colors to... Draw their stuff back. Because realistically, that's all I need. It doesn't have to be good, it just have to look kind of correct. I forgot that. Microphone is there. Can you even tell now? Just do a bit of paint mixing. Oh, that's why it looks weird. Uh, it doesn't have like... Layer below or something. Because that shadow just shouldn't be there. Give me the brush. I'll just get rid of it. I think that's the microphone casting a shadow on her arm. And the microphone is no longer there. So there's no reason for that to be... ...shaded in any way. Cool. It's a bunch of Tom songs from his Atlas Underground project that has wild bass. Some of those songs are either verging on EDM or very much EDM, but also metal. Uh, that was um, Muse's second law album. When I first heard it, I was like, what the fuck is this techno-ass shit? <laughs> uh, and then I grew to like it. I always have the same problem with every Muse album. When they release it, I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? And then I listen to it for a while and I grow into it. I didn't listen to Resistance for a while. Because he just had a symphony out of nowhere. And I was like, you know what? This symphony actually sounds pretty cool. And now they're back to like some retro shit. They ping pong all over the place.
Muse chooses a genre challenge. Impossible. There was one song that he did with someone because Alice on the Ground is all about him collaborating with lesser known artists. Literally met, then went outside the studio for a quick smoke. Came back with an entire song written on his head. And then just went to town. Flew him away with that. Sounds like uh, Rob Scallon. <laughs> he can write you a song in a day. Or in less than a day. In fact, he can write you 10 songs in 10 hours. I would love... I would love Rob Scallon collaborating with Tom Morello. They have a very similar love for sound and just doing new things with instruments. That would be wild. Maybe I can start a petition for Ralph Scallon to do things with Tom Morello. Just one, just one small album. Just a quick 30 song album. Nothing fancy. Um... And have them in thousand uh, sing on it. Townsend. I never know how to pronounce his last name. It's written kind of weird. Speaking of Canadian good boys. Tom is pretty active on socials. Maybe I can tweet at him. Uh, what am I doing? You're already on it. Go for it. I'm sure Rob would be thrilled to collaborate with Tom Morello. Assuming he hasn't already? I don't think so. I'm scaling. No, they haven't. I was thinking that maybe he was like there for a video reviewing a guitar or some shit, but no. The first result result on um Google says who does Tom Morello play in D and D Honor Honor Among Thieves? Uh so he's in the movie? <laughs> Apparently playing his own character. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, says towards the end of the movie, he's in a circle of, uh, people and he's playing his own, uh, original character for his Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Uh... I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm going to send you, hold on, I'm going to send you the screen cap from this article. Uh, 
Uh, you know the movie, so you you know what this you know what these words would mean. <laughs> Well, lucky find. <laughs> had nothing to do with what I was looking for, but uh, it somehow collided with two things that you are m very much a fan of. Incredible. Uh, I think this is the thumbnail. Um... There are 20 minutes left on the stream, at least. Now I need to decide what I want to do with that time. Um, let me go back to this for a sec. Let's uh, try to get some more ink. into my emotes i believe i'm on the shaving phase i inked and i colored all of them but i don't remember if i'm shading all of them maybe i didn't finish coloring all of them i don't remember we'll find out together Okay, yeah, I did color all of them. Uh, I need to shape them. Do I want to do this right now? I actually don't know if I do. I've been, like, doing... This shading is very simple, and I've been doing, like, two emotes at a time, because I do it, and then I'm brain dead like looking at this i already feel tired <laughs> and i think i should not <laughs> i didn't think i would feel this much dread while looking at this file i did this cover that you can create your own color sets so i have my raven colors uh into a color set instead of having to have a layer with all of them and then forget about it. Do you need a tweet? Hell yeah. Let me go. Let me go and retweet that. Like me. Let me like and subscribe. That would be the wildest thing ever. Please uh, let this happen. There. <laughs> um, I don't think I want to work on this. I don't know if I want to work on anything. Uh, yeah, no, I think I'm going to call it here. I don't have the brain to do anything else. I barely had the brain to do those thumbnails. And when I look at them later today, I'm going to be like, these are the shittiest things I've ever done. But maybe their simplicity will draw more clicks. I don't know. I will go get lunch. I think my sister was making some chimkin, uh, which is tasty. I love chimkin. Um, eat, maybe die for a couple hours and then revive and finish work because I still need to render, upload, and set up the videos. And there's a video that needs to go up tomorrow, so I better do that today. In case something goes wrong. Alvin Cass, you've been wonderful. 
Remember that you're very important to me and remember to take it easy on yourself. Because, you know, life's hard. And the only hard thing that you need to take is a dick. And even then, only if you want to. What's the share?